Hi there, Simon from SimonWoods.com with a slight bubble in my throat, so if I cough halfway through this video, uh, don't take it personally, it's just me and my deficiencies. <coughs> Today's wine, uh, Keira um, Narins. Narins is the great variety, Keira is the estate, and we're in Turkey with this one. Um, and um, it's, um, I, I, I've got a fact sheet all about it, so I can bore you senseless, that's what fact sheets are for. Um, and um, it, it, from the Tokat area of, uh, of um, between central Anatolia and the Black Sea. And uh, head winemaker Daniel O'Donnell, passionate about the native uh, grapes grown in Turkey. Yeah, uh, please be assured that Daniel O'Donnell is not a typical Turkish name. Uh, he's, uh, I can't remember where he's from, uh, from his native California. Blah, blah, blah. What he thinks about uh, Narinse, he loves its delicacy and subtle aromatics. Let's see if this lives up to its billing. Well, there's a very aromatic um, like pink grapefruit edge coming through here. Uh, there's also something that feels, hesitate to say volcanic, but it feels like there's something, um, something, some, something that's been dragged up from the soil uh, and has en ended up in the wine uh, that's giving it a, um, a, a slightly earthy edge alongside those perfume. It, actually, it's got a rose petal edge alongside those, that, uh, the pink grapefruit. And uh, it's getting more interesting by the swirl. Uh, maybe I'll have to get, do, do a little bit more swirling before I taste it, but uh, I'll be back in a moment. Tasty, fresh, tangy, um, and uh, sappy. It's got this, yes, it's got a citrus flavour, that, that, that grapefruit edge, and it's got some of that citrus acidity. Um, seems to have picked up some weight from somewhere, because the, the acidity is there adding the freshness. It's only 11.5% alcohol, so it's not sort of surviving on... Uh, um, a big beefy alcohol um, and uh, I don't feel any sugar there it feels like it's a uh, everything is, 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 is ripe but it feels dry and uh, dry confident earthy pithy uh, really interesting wine mm. um, tasty and aromatic um, and I don't want to say oh, it reminds me a little bit of that because um, uh, otherwise you're always being compared to other things rather than being an entity in your own right so uh, uh, bully for Nurins Nurins I don't know where, how to pronounce it but um, uh, anyway, go out and look for it. It's uh, it's rather nice. See you soon.